Yo, Twitch. Man, three subs instantly the first day of the month, I guess. Maybe some Twitch Primes have a reset. Yana, Sins, and Riggity all dropping some big old subs. Nine months, Sins with a new Prime, and Riggity with 17 months. Yo, what is up, everybody? It's time for Hearthstone. It's time for the heroic Brawlicium. It's been a while since we've done this. I don't think I did it last time, as I recall. It's generally not something I would advise the average player to do, or perhaps even the exceptional. You have to be really good at Hearthstone for this to be worth it. But uh, listen, that's me. <laughs> Obviously. No, that's not me. I'm doing it for content. I can spend 10 bucks for a video, right? That's fine. Uh, but the average player is going to get terrible results out of this. But we are going to try to play for the portrait. Do I have the portrait thing? Was it a quest or something? Oh, here it is. Yeah. Bell of the Brawl. I have a Nazdormu quest just sitting there. I, I really don't play much Hearthstone right now. I'm only on stream. Zarna Whoop, thanks for the 13 months. Appreciate it, Zarna Whoop. With the tier one. That's a big time sub. Baker's Dozen. Um, anyway, we're going to try to get this portrait and do the heroic Brawliseum. I think we're going to play... I kind of wanted to play some uh, Unholy Death Knight, just because I also wanted to make a video for Unholy Death Knight anyway. Because I haven't played Unholy Death Knight, and it's looking like it's going to be a pretty good deck now. Uh, let's, let's see, I was going to play that Otsuna list, Otsuna list, but maybe we'll just grab a good deck off uh off hs replay it's probably gonna look about the same anyway the most popular deck or the highest win rate deck deck with a little less data let's see i want the one with sylvanas that looks fun i like big game winning sorts of cards like sylvanas yeah we'll take that okay yeah, we'll do some Unholy Death Knight for a first try. I also wouldn't mind doing some Blood Death Knight. We'll see how much time we have left as this stream goes on. I understand. I bought some freaking rune stones for this before the stream. I bought uh, 2,000 rune stones for you guys, so. You owe me. You owe me. Dead Pop thanks for the three months in the tier one sub. No ads indeed, thanks. Hype Train as well, man. We barely got the stream started. Nobody in chat is even talking. Hey, Maximix, obviously Grilled and Olympus and Shawnog with a sub. My God, guys, that's so crazy. Thank you, everybody, man. I'll be transparent. I had a pretty bad Twitch revenue month last month. It was the lowest it's been in literally like three years <laughs> it was uh, part of that was just you know didn't stream as much hearthstone i think marvel snap doesn't convert quite as well on like subs and stuff because the audience is newer but i was shocked i was like holy moly it's all good i don't focus on twitch as much anymore so it makes sense it's my fault but i was just like dang how much time do you have today well, I was going to go for about four or five hours tonight. Hopefully, I was going to go pretty late. I want to do, you know, two, three hours of Hearthstone and then a couple hours of Marvel Snap, basically, was my plan. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely ready for the mini set. Yeah, it's been a big lull, I feel like, in Hearthstone, for me at least, and I think a lot of other folks, too. So, uh, let's give this a go. The Unholy Death Knight. This deck's picking up a lot of steam, becoming more and more popular. It's pretty much a swarmy aggro -y kind of deck it's got a little bit of late game as you see a little bit of value generation with like vizier and school teachers it's not all in but pretty fast starts i think i have never played uh this particular list so i am going to get wrecked but we will do our very best uh lock it in if we can get well really three wins is the goal of course for the for the portrait if we can get you know four or five wins i think i'll be happy with how little i'm playing standard right now Probably be relieved if we get three. Happy with four or five. Over the moon if we get to like north of seven wins, honestly. I'll just be over the moon. And I don't know much about this deck's matchups very well. Seems to have a good matchup against Pure Paladin, according to the data I'm looking at here. Not a ton of games, though. That's 
pretty small subset of games let me back out to the meta view of this hold up pure paladin matchup in the meta view still pretty decent it's not too bad uh let's take a look at mulligan win rates for our deck as well generally speaking i'm sure we're just gonna want good one drops but uh arms dealer body bagger solid trog trog against paladin how many spells is pure paladin running right now early spells mostly early minions of divine shields right which i think is gonna make yeah not a lot of early spells trog is seemingly not the pick here seems like body bagger is gonna be fine since there's something at stake here i'm actually you know as you can tell concentrating a little more on data and trying to make sure we we do this as best we can obviously i have not been playing a lot of standard so the best we can is not going to be great but we might as well give it as as much of a go as we can right we might as well try at least a little here trying to familiarize ourselves a little more with the meta the last few days because i haven't played any standard since the patch hardly hey uh listatus thinks on her bits catch up thanks for the 41 months that's very nice i think uh getting this going seems just fine oh foul egg with a skeletal sidekick does enable me to use that my brain is always like oh invincible yes but i think the foul egg for a more consistent early curve is is probably going to serve us better my brain really wants to go invincible though i'll tell you but these two together are a really good combo as is grave strength frankly too I'm just having a sticky body for the grave strength to to go later uh catch up thanks to the 41 less status 100 bits you guys kicked off a hype train early that's so crazy that's rare appreciate it very very nice of you oh arm stealer is such an insane role because now i can buff an onboard target and i still get the uh the foul egg hit here this is so gross I think we'll just trade through here, of course, our pushing face. Grave strength. Uh, we don't have the corpses yet, so we might just go swarm guard. That seems fine. Just get an annoying sticky body down. This deck, I'm not expecting to have a lot of removal, right? If it's if it's pure pally like we think, and it's definitely certainly a minion based pally. I just don't expect hardly any removal, right? Did we trade here. What do you guys think probably important to keep the board managed right against paladin leveraging board buffs and stuff seems pretty spooky pure paladin list right now everything we've seen is indicative of pure paladin but no uh removal in in, in the list i'm looking at anyway oh that just seems horrifyingly slow how much damage do we have six and six is 12 plus uh six is 18 but i think this is worth it anyway right it's just the most we're gonna get probably what could they possibly do for five mana right what what could they possibly do we have a sticky board we have taunts they're at one health or no they're yeah two Two health. What could they possibly do? What's what's what, what's the five? Even duels would have a hard time answering this. I feel like I don't even know if duels could handle this. I guess a wand of disintegration always, but most duels decks would struggle with this position. Have you no respect for the dead? Catacomb guard pushing them to four. I mean, what? There, there's no way. Yeah, that's obviously just not sufficient. Okay. Dude, we hit the nuts. That that egg roll was just so perfect, too. Absolute nuts. Okay, well, that felt good and consistent, but we hit a dream curve against a board-based deck, so we'll have to see how this feels moving forward. Uh, I did feel, you know, like our data helped us, though. We got, I think we got some good insights. Hey Tokita, hey Jonatron. Uh, any interest in Hogwarts Legacy? As I've said before, I'm not like the biggest Harry Potter guy. I've never really, I've never really been a big Harry Potter guy. I just, I don't know. It's not my most interesting. 
uh, property. I, I think shooting little wands at each other has always looked a little silly to me. <laughs> I mean, the graphics in the game look cool and stuff. I, I know there's a lot of controversy around it too. I don't really know where to land on all that, but I just I'm just not into the Harry Potter so much. But so so no. I, but I you know wish you well. Hope you have fun. Whatever. Um. Yeah, Blight Fang seems really powerful to me. Uh, it's it's it depends if this is an unholy deck or not, right? If there's a blood deck, Blight Fang's probably pretty dead. But if it's unholy, I feel like we we kind of like it, and I think it'd be nice to be ready to play into unholy, right? His hand is really bad. Oh goodness. Sky sidekick. Oh, sidekick body bagger might be a little better for us. Let's see if we get another one drop. There's a lot of ones in this deck, right? So, oh, this is not the guy I thought it was. I'm an idiot. I th I thought this was arms dealer. I am an idiot. I don't know how to read. It really helps if you can read, guys. I'll be honest. Obviously, that should have been a body bagger on one. I, I really legit thought this was arms dealer the whole time. I was like, yeah, body bagger buff. Let's go. We're gonna get a three one hero power, two one hero power, whatever it is, two one. Yeah, let's go. I'm I'm stupid. It's it's fine. They don't know we have this right. So to them, it looks like oh yeah, he's just tempoing a one drop. Great, smart plays, Regis. Way to go. So this looks more like Frost, of course. I I think. Although, is Unholy running? No, that's Frost. Yeah, two Frost, of course. Yeah, has to be Frost in this case. I think. Um, Frost will have some AOE potential, which is a little bit scary. We can probably just trade here in Battlefield Necromancer, try to win this board a little. I don't want to over trade, but I don't also want to be on two health minions in a turn four, probably with Remorseless. I'm assuming that's something Frost builds are still running. Let's see. Eh, maybe not so much, actually. Not so much Remorseless. There's the six drop that deals two, Howling Blast. Yeah, Remorseless Winter actually not particularly common in Frostless right now, so... Might be okay at two. Two health minions on board. Clunky hand, though, like we said. The Blight Fang's only good against Unholy, probably. So, we're getting a little chip damage, but really not a lot. Oh man, they are just tidying up everything here. Yeah. Dig it. It's a fine turn four for us, but... Is Sylvanas going to allow me to actually swing well, I wonder? Freeze a face attack here. Mana regen is not really that good on these. Howling Blast certainly seems like the most useful card. And the most mana efficient, right? So are there any other weapons in Frost decks right now? There's Bone Breaker. They're running the three drop weapon. No, not so much. Oh yeah, they are. Some have Rhyme Fang Sword. Seems fairly uncommon though. Same for Might of Minifil in a couple lists on HS Replay here. Yeah, that's gonna need to die, so we'll probably have to Howling Blast that, of course. This guy is staying... Staying true here. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Do we Blight Fang first just to get another body? Like, just to get a 2-2? Two -two? There's just not gonna be that many targets, right? I think since it's a 3-4 as well, we might as well. Do we even coin a Vrykul Necrolite? We don't really need coin for anything other than Marogar again, which currently isn't even that big. Arms Dealer doesn't really hit either of these things. He doesn't seem that good. I, th I think we will. I think we will. I think I definitely want this to die, though. I mean, Arms Dealer does hit the summoned undead off this. Maybe that's worth it to stay on curve, huh? Remember, this guy's a beast, not an undead, so... He doesn't matter so much. Alright, so that's a good board again. Uh, I'm hoping they don't have Six Drop Lady. What's Six Drop Lady's name? There she is. That's her right there. Six Drop Lady. Overseer Frigidara is her name. No, that's Four Drop Lady. Literal Lady. <laughs> Lady Death Whisper. Dude, this is... Oh, I, I can trade in and just take it, right? I think it's worth it too, isn't it? We just throw away a minion here and just steal it. I just want that one more corpse. 
Um, I guess I could use my... No, I'm not using my hero power. No, that's too expensive. Yeah, let's just take it. This is a really valuable card to take. This, we don't really care about the card so much. It's just denying it from them, right? Uh, we think they might freeze the board here with seven mana thingy. I do have a taunt though, and we're, we're still at a pretty good health total, and we've actually managed to get them to use some remove, some damage on removal. So hopefully between stealing the Death Whisper and just limiting damage, we're not too scared of any sort of board freeze or lockdown, and the Vizier might even help me protect against that as well. Yeah, that's not even going face, which is a pretty good sign, I think. So that's nice. Oh, uh, we could just try to trust the Swarm Guard here. It is also getting buffed, which is nice. Yeah, I kind of like that more. Let's just Hero Power, Trade In, and Swarm Guard. Just to protect ourselves a little better. This is just kind of free since we're not spinning our mana anyway, right? Okay. It's pretty chill. Uh, hey, Hammer Ton. What's up? Hey, Mallard Duck. Uh... Blue is my color. Aw, oh, thanks, man. I do I do like blue. I feel like it look pretty good in blue. I hear you. I've worn uh, three different blue shirts over the last three days, two of which are the same exact shirt, but just two, two, I have two instances of the same shirt, which I did very intentionally because I had some sponsor videos I was recording. And unfortunately, I thought I covered myself over two days for revisions, but they asked for a revision on one of my sponsorship reads. So I had to go dig the shirt out of the dirty clothes and wash it real quick to do the same shirt again to match up with the sponsor stuff that I've already recorded for the next... I gotta record another part of it again and it has to match the same shirt. This shirt could probably pass, but it's a little more blue than some of the other shirts, the, the, the shirts I wore the first time. So it, anyway, streamer problems, right? <laughs> really long, dumb story to say streamer problems. So what do we have? Seven and six is 13, 14, 15. Oh, but we lost some stuff there to the Remorseless, so. Now we have six and nine. This could maybe hit a lethal with grave strength, right? Maybe some other stuff too. Uh, defrost in general, we are getting a little light on resources. Plague Strike is not even that good on board. It's a little awkward, isn't it? I think I like this. Because the Grave Strength off the top is still really good if we can find it. Plague Strike, huh? Uh, okay, this turns a little, a little light, honestly. Not sure if I want to trade or just go face. I mean, having a rusher makes me think trading seems smart. But I'm also looking for these final few hits of chip damage to win the game, right? So we're a little bit torn. Also, we are just floating this coin forever, I guess. Hero power Marogar incoming, right? <laughs> That's our best roll. Not sure. <sighs> no, shame we didn't hit a grave strength on any of those rolls. That was just an easy win. Oh, blood boils an enormous discover to hit. Oh my god, dude. That completely shifts the game. Now we're in like this value battle, I would say. Dang. 19 is a mountain suddenly. Shoot. That's that's actually really tough. Boy, oh boy. I mean, I guess this is the move, but it's not it's not what we're looking for really, right? It's not that I wanted like a marrow car, right? I needed something insane. Uh So we're all in kind of now on these final couple dudes here. We're, I mean, we're literally all in. We are out of we are out of cards, right? So we are literally all in. It's the best way to do this. I don't know. I feel like I'm over clearing a little, but that blood boil, man. It's just uh, that blood boil, dude. A frost getting blood boil completely changes the cadence of the game. Now I feel like they're just going to out-resource me unless I hit exactly Marogar off the top. Maybe a school teacher could get me by. 
Famished Fool would be pretty bad. Oh boy, that's game. That has to be game, right? I can't, I can't outlast this. There's too many cards in hand. Too much damage eventually, too. I'm sure. Just gonna be able to start shipping stuff face. Can I get the Marogar, man? Just one, oh my God, arms dealer. Are you <laughs> kidding me, man, this deck? I even remember I even picked the card draw option. Don't forget, I, I, I took two extra cards. <laughs> this is what it looks like when you gas out. Isn't Holy super butt in this meta? Uh, no, actually, Holy is super good in this meta. Holy is high tier two. Unholy Death Knight. High tier two. I think it's even better if you, yeah, it's still kind of the same. But all versions of DK now are actually somewhat competitive, which is pretty crazy. Asphyxiate, Unholy Frenzy doesn't help. Asphyxiate's definitely the play to keep me alive, but only barely. Only barely. Pick me, pick me. And of course, what's his name's gonna kill me, so it doesn't really matter. All right, GG. I, I don't, I honestly, I don't know, man. Would we have even gotten there without the blood boil? I think off hero power is probably right. It was gonna be potentially there. Just whittling them down. We had a couple chances. The Asselor armor would have changed the clock again too though. So I don't know, it's, uh, it's iffy. We really just needed to hit that grave strength when we whiffed on it. Remember that was the, I think that the, the big whiff without the grave strength to give us that lethality we just fell apart yeah i want to play blood dk next that's my next uh the next deck i want to try i wanted to do unholy specifically because unholy hasn't been good until this most recent patch and i have not done a video yet i was going to do just a normal standard video for unholy but if we can get a cool brawlicium video that'll serve the exact same purpose right it'll, it'll kill two birds with one stone as they say Hopefully kill two DKs with one stone. Uh, do we keep a two drop in this deck? No coin, so no hero power. What do the mulligan win rates look like on a two drop? Not very good, actually. It's maybe top 10 for the archetype, but not... Not super good. Yeah, no, actually for this specific list, even lower. Yeah, we, Blightfang's not bad. If this is an unholy deck, I think Blightfang could be insane. But I feel like I don't I don't know if it's going to be unholy or it's it's now that there's three good death knights, it's like, well, what are we going to get? Do you even have any clue? Who knows? Yeah, we'll play you for tempo, bro. This time intentionally. <laughs> <laughs> Last time was an accident. This time we mean to. Body bagger is definitely an indicator for unholy to me. That feels like unholy, right? Uh, this is more immediate stats. That can be a value dump later. That's fine. So Blightfang should be really, really good in this matchup, hopefully. Uh, hey, Tetraplasm says, Hey, Regis, I'm the guy who told you what notes you were singing in the duels VODs. Did you see my response video I made? Oh my god, no. What? Did you drop the link on the VODs or something? Link it to me and I'll check it out later. That sounds amazing. I'm guessing you, you're probably referencing the time I like. Oh, do you tempo this? Oh God. I think the Blightfang is going to be better later. So I'm going to tempo this. I haven't played this matchup enough to know if that's right or wrong though. I think there's a decent chance that's wrong. Let's just remove as much power as possible to increase the odds that this lives. I guess you saw the video where I talked, where I did like multiple notes or whatever. I'm guessing that's what this is about. Titanium Hawk says, uh, could be interesting to do a video where you showcase how you did the heroic problem with all three different kinds of Death Knight. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. 
maybe we'll do that we'll see how each one goes if each one's too short <laughs> if i'm too bad with all three <laughs> i don't know uh, like that could help get it into a video but i don't know if i want to showcase myself doing bad with all three okay i'll check this out later uh tetra thank you man oh they killed it anyway that's really annoying i feel like our opponents are getting really clutch discovers today <sighs> feeling a little little frustrated by the discover consistency of my opponents so far death knight has a lot of really good cards to discover so i get it but just it's just frustrating uh frost strike to me seems a little more useful than defrost because this is still going to ultimately be a battle for the board and this can both generate resources and battle for the board right it does it does both of those things and very affordably so hopefully we get a good blight fang turn here in a second i want them to go a little wider yeah, see, their rancher's gonna connect. That makes me really annoyed. Oh, they're running Banshee. Dang, their deck's even faster. Dang. Crazy. This is definitely the Blightfang turn, though, right? Kind of has to be. It's so big. It's so big. What are we hitting, though? I, I certainly want to kill the... This has a rush dude in it, right? We'll probably just kill these then, right? That's, that's fine. Um. Dude has rush, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Oh, I should have. Oh no, I'm gonna play a trog. No, we're gonna play a trog. We don't need the arms dealer, really, right? It's it's fine. Trog is better here. We might even technically play something that we discover, but I doubt it. Um, Frigidar is not gonna hit the deal two, but it, just the draw two actually seems pretty meaningful as we as we extend this game perhaps into a little bit of a resource battle, right? These are good enough at two, so I don't think we need the arm stealer here. Is my logic? Two trades on board mostly. Oh, another rancher already. Jeez. If this buff hits this, then two won't trade. But then we still have clean math for later. Um, so it should be fine. Uh, so, I mean, we're ahead here on resources and on board, which certainly feels like a really good spot to be. Gonna have to decide how much I want to, like, commit versus not commit to some plays here. Like, is, is Frigidara worth a commitment or do I need to stay wider? I mean, I'm still gonna be pretty wide. I, I wouldn't mind hero powering though because I have some clean math there if I want to protect my trog in particular because I have six here and six here I, I feel like I do kind of want to protect my trog so I might want to weave in a hero power basically uh this is the only card currently with the uh banshee buff I should also probably want to kill that beforehand too maybe I do have to lose the trog either way then but I still kind of like going wide on the back end. Wide on the back end. That's Regis Kilbin for you. <laughs> wide on the back end, baby. All right, let's do it this way then. So nothing gets buffed here. And then uh, we'll hero power to hit this. These aren't on summon, right? This is on play always, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I think I think this is the right line, for the record. Mm, a little bit of order there, I guess, but... Oh god. Oh god. Okay, perfect. Beautifully executed turn. Marilgar is a clutch discover, of course, as well. That's pretty much game ending, so... Outside of something like a blood boil here again. My god. Well, I like that turn. I think that was the right way to do that turn. Bridget R we can save for later, but now let's maintain our board advantage and width in particular. This deck is good at being wide. I don't know if this was the best pick. I just wanted something cheap. Howling Blast, man, that's not bad. These guys are gods of discovers, I swear, man. I feel like I just cannot keep up with my opponent's discover values. I mean, I got a Meryl Guard, though. I do. Let's back up as I can reach. Back up, bro. You got a Marilgar, dude. I think we're gonna be okay, right? 
Uh, this is probably a good turn to play the Frigidara because they're not really too far ahead on board and uh, I'm gonna have a couple units anyway. They're pretty light on resources. They do have a Discover, so if that's a Marogar, God knows we could be in a bit of a pickle. We're about the same size on the Marogars, so I guess I would rather have the, the, the Marogar second in some ways, but... Uh, in other ways, I'm just going to have to play it, right? There's no way you don't play it. Because that's not necessarily a Marogar. It isn't getting played for a while, though, which does make me a hair nervous, I'll be honest. That, that, that leaves me thinking about what it might be. But again, we, we just, we can't wait, right? This isn't even our real Marogar. We technically have another one. We just have to go. There's no question here. We have to go. I, I, I worry there is, though, and it's going to take some good trades. That's what makes me really nervous. Never mind. <laughs> Apparently it's not. All right. All right. All right. That game went okay. Even though I think they had the much better uh, hawk ladies, I think we managed to do all right. Happy with how that went. Uh, love your content, says Huxley. You got me to Marvel Snap. Oh, nice, dude. I hope you're enjoying it. My last two Marvel Snap videos have killed it, by the way. They're doing great. Oh my goodness. I also made my first short ever on YouTube, which is Marvel Snap. It's kind of a fun, creative challenge. Always doing something a little different is fun, you know? All right, so Necromancer's had a really good mulligan rate in this deck. I think we'll also just keep a one drop here. Having a corpse out can be really good. And Blythefang, in case of Unholy, it certainly seems to be important. Last game, that swung really hard. That's really the only thing that kept us in it, so. Uh, Tetra, oh man, sorry, I was gonna check it off off stream, I don't have like a headset or anything, I, I don't wear, I don't have audio, so I was just gonna watch off stream if you don't mind. It's, uh, a little more work to get it rolling. Sorry if I misled you. I got it, I got it, uh, I got it saved up here though, right here. I am excited to watch it though. I will reference it in a future VOD, especially if you come back and ask me about it, don't worry. Uh, yeah, Battlefield Necro's fine. Bot nickname? No, that's the name of all of my files on my computer, actually. <laughs> SDFG, where you just type random letters to name your files. I'm pretty sure that's just, that's just how computers are named, right? I'm, I'm, I'm certain that's true. <laughs> I, I know it for a fact um can we trust that the rancher lives guys i'm always playing it out and getting bad results out of it i like trying to tempo it i have a taunt i'll have i'll have only one taunt unfortunately i guess i could trade in my one three you know what i could do i could i could go rancher coin sidekick trade in here they don't have three corpses so they don't get the body back but this goes to three three and then I get another corpse back, and I'm surely okay at that point, right? I think I have to be okay at that point. I, I really, really like... Oh, yeah, this doesn't give a corpse. Oh, you're right. Shoot. Yeah, he's risen. Yeah, shoot. Risen, idiot. You don't give a corpse. I'm not trading in the battlefield. All right, let's just take our time, then. We can do better. Let's just take our time. Given that uh, this gets me another body, there's no hurry. The goal is to be ahead on board, right? Denying the corpse value of that, it's definitely worth clearing it. Okay. Swarm guard with an arms deal. Swarm guard with a rancher is nuts if we could pull it off. That would be insane. Using the glacial advance here. Man, are they going to have any other ways to remove stuff, right? There's no way. We have to go rancher dealer here, right? Just go face. Set up for the set up for the swarm guard next turn. Seems right to me. All these taunts. They just dug for removal. Are they gonna be able to find more? It's so unlikely. Hopefully they clear just enough to make space for these, because if we copy these, boy, oh boy, oh boy, we're gonna be very happy people. Tomb Guardians is too slow. That might that might as well say too slow guardians. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> he just gets toxic, dude. 
<laughs> why, dude, why did Regis get so toxic, guys? I had an urge to snap just now, by the way. Your brain rots when you play Marvel Snap. I think you just want to snap all the time. Um, yeah, let's just tidy these up, right? We want to remove minions from play. Even the rancher will trade here, I think. We've gotten so much value out of the rancher. I, I don't want to greed its effect too much when we can use its body for impact as well, right? So just hope they don't have the blight thing here is the is the goal, but even if they do, we've got so much stickiness here. Alright, that's gonna get silenced. Like I said, just use the body. It's gone anyway. Grave strength, just to take some bad trades. That is totally fine. Can I hit my own grave strength, dude? Yes. <laughs> God, the timing. Uh, I don't know if this is lethal yet. I'm obviously way too lazy to count, but it feels very close. 12 and 8 is 20, 29. Yeah, it is. Cool. Good win, good win. Oh, we got our portrait. Nice, dude. Already. Dang, yeah, three and one. Awesome. Uh. Garbage pack, but hey, we got a portrait. That's cool. Uh, where do I see it? I did listen to the emotes. They sounded pretty good. Sounded fine to me. Uh, Death Knight. Oh, yeah. Ghoul, Queen, Scarlet. I like that she's unholy themed. That's really cool. Scourge ghouls make a great army, but even greater arm rests. <laughs> I like that too. That's cool, dude. The knights are driven by a single purpose. Office Minifil. Office Kingslayer. All right. Cool. Three wins is that, that honestly, we've already hit our expected result. Three and three is the average result. For, for Heroic Brawl CM. Now, of course, expected, I guess, is a little different phrasing because depending on how good you are, your your expected result should be notably higher or lower depending on your player skill. But since I'm roughly, I would say I'm roughly a low legend to diamond five level player, I might say my expected result might be what? Five, six, seven wins? I don't know. I don't know. Not going to equip it. Uh, I just have random set, so it, we'll get it one in three games, I guess. It should show up pretty often hopefully so man it's been a lot of unholy the blight fang has been paying off in that regard i i like trog on one okay just to get a corpse and a body let's let's try to keep this see how it goes yeah it should get harder to get wins over time day one on the brawliseum is going to be the day most players play it to get the skin as soon as they can so um good players will keep playing it right because they're winning and they're farming it for wins and stuff whereas bad players will stop playing it as soon as they get the skin so as time wears on you would expect a higher and higher portion of the people playing the brawl see to be good players and therefore your average win rate should decrease over time you're most likely to get the highest amount of wins on day one i would say probably the night of day one depending on your region i guess or in a anyway I would expect the night of day one to be the best day. Like right now. Because people like get home from work, get a chance to play the Brawl CM finally. Those sort of things. <sighs> 12 poor snaps had to match against the guy at top one legend. Yes, which is exactly why, again, I say I don't think anyone really should do the Brawl CM. Unless you're really desperate for this portrait. It's just not a good rate of return for almost anyone. Yeah, the dang blight fang. Um, we can just kind of ignore it maybe for a while. I would love this combo, but I think we're just gonna have to ignore it for a minute. I don't know. I don't want to trade these in too soon and give them upside. We can just pretend that doesn't exist and go face and hit a grave strength or something. Maybe we can we can win eventually. But like I said, blight fang seems to really swing these matchups a ton. I kind of feel like having the second Blight Fang is also going to be worse for us a little bit. That Rancher really needs to die. Sidekick is a good roll for that, honestly. Do I want to take my Blight Fang now? 
I think since I have some taunts alive, I might just take my rancher for now. Sidekick seems better than hero power, right? That rancher needs to die primarily. Just trying to decide if I'm trading in the small taunts, if I'm, you know what I mean? Like I gotta decide about the right way to do this. Like am I trading these in and just running face with these so that I don't give them two twos too soon? This obviously is the most efficient from a damage return standpoint. So maybe we just give them a single two two. It's maybe not the end of the world. I hate that this 3-3 does kind of return in kind, though. I think that's a little tough. Oh, shoot. Idiot. Just don't look at me. Don't look at me. I'm an idiot. I got all of them right except the trog for some reason. Forgot about the idiot trog. I literally did these and then forgot the trog. <laughs> it's fine. So, these have the dudes inside still. Which isn't too bad. Hero powering is not too bad either. There's going to be a lot of mana here just for trade efficiency, which typically is not the most powerful thing to do. Really just hoping this lives so that we can make a better play. Currently don't have a lot of payoff actually, but hero power alone. Oh, obliterate's really good though. Dang. So this is certainly the Blight Fang turn. No question, no question. Aw, oh, that rancher living into the swarm guard would have been so insane. If I take control of a skeletal sidekick with a, with a strider inside, but it all, uh, no, let's just Blight Fang. We'll, we'll have a better target for the Sylvanas, hopefully. I hate that the Blight Fang here is a, a fair bit off curve, but hero power at least makes it a little better. It's a big swing, right? Big, big turn for us. Sylvanas off curve, Swarm Guard off curve, like eh, just a little bit of wackiness here all around. Rykul's not too significant, thankfully. Good, but not crazy. Just wondering what my Sylvanas target's gonna end up being, right? That's my big question here. Need them to play, oh, that's pretty good. A 4-4 four -four is not bad. It doesn't have any death rattles or anything, but it's just a bit, one of the bigger bodies in this game. The question I guess we have to ask is, should we wait on a Marogar? I don't think they have Marogar. They wouldn't use that coin, right? I feel like you don't Marogar. You don't, I don't think you coin that if you have Marogar. You guys feel the same way? I don't know if I have a choice anyway. We got to do something. <laughs> like, I don't think we have a great play regardless. So uh, I, I think this is the move either way, frankly. Just don't have a lot of choices here. Just kind of have to do stuff. I need to top deck my Rogar, actually. That's the game plan right now. I feel like once this game devolves into this state, it's just who gets my Rogar first wins, maybe. They do have a few more cards. They might be able to build a, a better board, but I still have some tutus inside of these, so I, I'm going to equalize a little bit when these start trading in, I think. And Arms dealer's good. Don't have Nerubian Swarm Guard, I guess. That's not so scary. They kill the Sylvanas and give me two twos. Oh, the Famished Fool infused is really nice for them. Mine's not infused yet. That's annoying. That might be a Marogar. Dang. Yeah, this actually will help me uh, infuse the Fool here too, but boy. God, I kind of just want to hit for eight, right? Like, there's a big part of me that just wants to go face on this and trust the, the process here a little bit.
dang dude like i i do i fool for a marrow guard now and like trust the swarm guard or do i just hit face for eight and trust my taunts I'll find the answer. i i think we gotta play this right and i'm going to not hero power so i have to take two bad trades here basically i'm i'm taking a negative trade here instead of a value trade for the sake of the fool infusing I, I might hit face for five at least. I might hit face for seven at least. <laughs> I, I think if they have Marogar, we kind of lose anyway outside of our own top deck Marogar situation. So I don't I don't think really respecting the Marogar is worth much. And if they don't have Marogar, this board state might allow me to set up some pretty nice lethal opportunities. So I'm hopeful. You know, like Sylvanas for seven and the hero power. Oh, that's not hero power for two. No, it's only it's only eight actually right now. Uh, they got the Marogar on eight off the top. That's really frustrating. One out of 16 hit there. And I got Amalgam of the bro. <laughs> Um, do I stay alive here with a rancher? Yeah, so we'll probably rancher swarm guard and just hope to be alive, I guess. We'll amalgam for our own Marogar, I think. There is an argument to a hero power instead for a little bonus damage, but I don't think that's a good argument. I think I'm more likely to find something good and useful like this, plus it's its own body and stickiness on board as well. Battle cry draw a card, I wouldn't be able to Marogar in that case. Would a Grave Strength perhaps net me a win or a Vizier? Yeah, maybe. It's probably the best pick. So, hit, hit, hit. 16, 19. Yes, I'm dead to like Grave Strength, but alive to some things. Maybe alive to something. Actually, 12. Yeah, 16. When I say 19, Grave Strength's another 9. Yeah, definitely dead to Grave Strength. Yeah. Dang, dude. like that's just a top deck battle there i think we really had a lot better opportunity that game did we is there something we could have done differently to eke that out i don't know i didn't even really respect the marogar respecting it would have made our life worse wouldn't have helped right like i said if they hit it we lose right <laughs> How about five face and three one two two and a three five? I wanted to kill the dudes who gave me my two twos back, right? To create more immediate pressure. Kill the three five. I don't get any two twos back. I think I like killing the two small guys better. Given the 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 blight thing return, basically. Warrior. Is this gonna be a control warrior? Is this gonna be an enrage warrior? Enrage warriors matchup against unholy death knight is actually a little favored is the game ever going to go to eight is the game going to go to eight or even seven i might i might arguably coin um I don't know. The thing is, I don't know how fast Enrage Warrior is right now. I'm. I think since we have such a good hand, I'm gonna keep the Marrow Guard, guys. <laughs> I don't know how right this is. Uh, I'm. I'm sure it's. It's Mulligan win rate is. Is. It's bad on average, but I'm. I'm assuming it's a little bit matchup dependent. I just don't know. We. We of course may come to greatly regret this. Arms dealer. I think we want to play closer to the Swarm Guard turn. I don't like to see Famished Fool. I was hoping to find more like twos and threes to fill in here since I kept uh, an eight and a four, right? We want we want some stuff that's a little bit smaller here, I think. Battlefield Necro is a great example of that, though. Uh, let's go ahead and hit this so that if they ping it, it dies, right? That seems kind of cool. So that it can't like take a trade and still die. Um, 
Arms dealer hero power might be fine next next turn. I don't know. We'll see. Do like the hero power dying off, so that's good. Rokara, <laughs> huh? Well, that needs to die. Thinking my dude instead, sure. Makes sense to me. Skeletal sidekick with hero power is really nice. Even better. I wonder, do we ever, um... Do we ever think about coining an arms dealer here into the swarm guard? I don't think so for, for really... I don't know, man. It also does get me this thing as a 2-3 as well. It's, it it kind of depends on how much you care about coining the, 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 the marrow gar and if you think this is going to die or not. I actually think it's probably right to arms dealer. Which I should have done before playing the sidekick, I guess, but... Coin Marogar on seven. Turn four. I mean, is these being buffed to a two three significant? I don't know, but let's try it. So this could be a two two right now, of course, but I like this getting buffed anyway. It's a nice bonus. Hopefully, this is safe into the swarm guard turn. That's the real goal here. All right, does Enrage Warrior run any kind of reactionary cards right now? Let's see what popular decks have. Uh, mostly just pings. They got the Imbued Axe. Whirling Combatant, actually, is a bit of an AoE card. Rokara later. Well, crap, now we have a bit of a problem because I don't have space for the Swarm Guard. <laughs> Shoot. Uh, also a little bit worried about like a whirling combatant farming me for value here. Clever, aren't you? Uh, cause they could, they could ping it for the frenzy to deal two to my board. They could arguably kill some of these egg cards off instead. Uh, I guess we just do the amalgam for now and, uh, see what we find. Vizier is the best card here. Banshee might arguably be a little bit better on board right now because of the any sort of whirlwind effect activating her. I kind of have a good reload and resource card. So maybe we do go for the Banshee for the immediacy instead of a hero power just to shore up our board a little bit. But hero power does give me a corpse which also shores up my board. So no, I think I like the hero power better. Just a little bonus damage too, which never hurt anybody. For the corpse, this I think this is better. We get a we get a Oh, there's no space! Oh no, we don't get a corpse. Order priority. This end of turn was played first, and this end of turn came after. Oh, that's really sad. Okay. I take it back. I like the Banshee better. <laughs> I regret everything. Uh hey, bad juju thinks in the 16 months, man. That's nice. Somebody earlier asked about why no plagued grain. Um, well, the reason is we just took a deck off HS Replay, a really good high win rate deck, but um, I don't, I mean, there are some running the plagued grain, but not, it's not exactly super common. It's maybe about half the list on HS Replay as I see it right now anyway. So, you know, definitely happening, but not, not crazy happening. Oh, Imbued Axe single-handedly swings games, doesn't it? Look at this. So good. So strong. Oh, these are good too. Dang. Those are a little less good, but still good. Swarm Guard here's gotta be the play, but man, do I have bad trades on the on the back half of this. Ugh. Maybe I have to hit something with Vizier here. I can hero power as well, which is pretty clean actually, because then I can kill the Acolyte in a sweet, sweet, clean hit here. I actually think Vizier is better, isn't it? The hero power is pretty good here, honestly. Unholy Frenzy. 
Um, could use that on the Nerubian maybe, but kind of just like the Horn of Winter. On average, like post Famished Fool. I don't know. Unholy Frenzy is really good. Let's let's save it for next turn though. I think. Oh, I don't have to save it for next turn, but I can do value trades first. Yeah, no, this is pretty good. I don't know what's I don't know what's first here, but we're gonna get some value at least. I think. I don't know what order these die in. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. Do they all get buffed off this guy again? No, just this same exact order. Okay. Yeah, no, that's a good turn, right? Because that limits the ability of the uh, the axe to make a play. So we basically clear the board. I, I really do like that a lot. That was the right call. Just get a full wipe and reset, basically. The board is how this is going to get lost on that axe. So making sure that's handled. Okay. All right. Marogar incoming soon, by the way, so if we can get to Marogar, I think we're definitely going to win the game. And I think we're actually still looking pretty good either way right now. Probably value trades over the 1-3 in this case. Oh, I'm just going to straight trade, okay. That gives me the 3-4 to kill it on the backswing. That's kind of nice. Or maybe not. Uh, or maybe so. <laughs> Uh, swarm guards again, huh? All right. Swarm guards are a little less interesting here. Uh, th this board's just becoming better and better against swarm guards, right? And this hero power is becoming more more troublesome over time as well. I mean, uh, the, I guess the good news is we can kind of uh, we can kind of just slow them down for a couple turns into the Marogar, basically. It's pretty nice. Wouldn't I try it? Wouldn't I rather try to draw Grave Strength? Problem is I can't play it right now, and this is a really bad play for the board. And if I lose the board of this weapon, I'm not going to get it back for a long time. So I think we just keep them busy into a Marogar at this current state. Like I don't, I don't want to play for something that could happen when I can just play for something that is going to happen based on our current uh, hand, right? Like we know we have a Marogar. We don't know what we have in regards to a Grave Strength and when that might happen or not. If I could play it right away, you might have some conversations about lethality and if it's it's the best chance to win, but I don't think we're there yet. I think we have some time still. So if I were them, I would damage this thing with my location and then trade it in and then attack. They might have a Rokara or something. No, but I think once we get Marogar down, we just win. Based on most builds of this deck, there is no sort of brawl type card. There's like uh, Olgra and Whirling Combatant, and that's about it. So, um, so now Grave Strength would potentially be lethal, but again, I I can't play it right now. What do we have here? Uh, six, seven, fifteen, yeah. I think uh, here we just go for the same exact game plan again. We like this game plan. We're just playing for Marogar. Doing our best in the meantime, but playing for Marogar. <laughs> Gonna be plenty of taunts incoming, so. This, boo -doo -boo -boo. Looking good now. Honestly, uh, Marogar is just going to make one really big dude at this current... Because uh, <laughs> we have too many cards on board, but whatever. That's fine. Grave Strength off the top would be good now. So they have like Rokara, which they're not going to want to play it with this Imbued Axe, but they might have to. Uh, Olgro would be... Pretty solid, actually. Olgra would do a lot of work against this kind of board, but that's that's what the Marogar... It actually would almost help me, because the Marogar would be insane in that case. Uh, the more likely hand is, like, you know, an injured Tolvir, an, an Anima Extractor, and a and a Dredger Staff or something, right? That That's what their hand is probably going to look like, but this is certainly... 
gonna be a nice lethal. Boo -doo -boo 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 -boo. Cool. That is a good win. That's not a favored matchup for us, actually. Believe it or not, the the enraged warrior is slightly favored in that one, according to the data. Only slightly. It's close, but they they are fifty three percent to win that. So it's good to win those. They do run at least one brawl normally. Uh, not according to just replay. They don't. Uh, since the patch, none of the listed decks have a brawl. I, I, I mean, to me, instinctually, brawl seems like it'd be a bad fit. It's a deck that's all about board based value. I, I wouldn't want to brawl off my own board in that deck much. It would be pivoting from your main win line. I mean, even since the expansion launched, I can't find a single Enrage Warrior on Aegis Replay with a Brawl. I don't know, maybe, maybe some control decks I could I could see, but. All right, let's, uh, let's not keep too many ones here, but I kind of like having two of them. Rogue, I have zero clue how to play against Rogue, but Rogue can struggle against wide boards unless they just get some great tempo removal early. Our matchup against uh, Rogue is is favored. It is it is favored, so that's good news. Vizier's not exactly the best sort of card in that scenario, I'm sure, but I just like that it's the right sort of cost. Do we ever coin a couple ones here just to get out to a wicked fast start? I, it worries me that the plague strike might whiff in that case but hero power is not a disaster i guess and you still have the vizier on three are they just gonna hero power on two what does rogue do i, I honestly i've played so little standard i don't know what rogue does i have i have honestly no idea what rogues do <laughs> i know everybody's mad at rogue but in my rank we weren't even playing that many anyway it was you know it's all like high legended stuff so I wasn't even really running into that many rogues. I would really love a Vrykul Necrolite or Battlefield Necromancer off the top here. Amalgam of the Deep would be good. Vrykul's great. Thank you, buddy. Perfect draw. Punish the guy they want to kill here if they kill it by giving us a 2-2 back. That's nice. This is a Rinnethal rogue, by the way. Is that normal? That's not normal, right? Rinnethal's not common, right? That That's really shocking to me. I just noticed, but that is so shocking. Five. I'm going to agree that I, I think there's a chance this connects. The, the, the downside currently is I don't actually have a good follow-up. Uh, but they don't know that. It's going to make them really nervous of nothing else, right? Grave strength here for one. Is that ever worth it? No. We'll probably Vizier worst case. Jackpot already. Okay. I've, I I like their deck. It definitely looks more fun. Renathal. Jackpot Concoction Rogue is a pretty cool little set of stuff. Give me that Swarm Guard off the top, baby. Sidekick Vizier. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and trade in too, I think, for the Vizier in this case. And just help protect our 2-5 a little more. Uh, this guy's gonna go face really hard, though. Okay, big old board. So, I mean, Graveyard Shift is, like, the best reload tool for us into a Grave Strength, probably. Frost Strike gives us a little bit more generation and reactivity. I mean, Graveyard Shift doesn't work very well with the uh, the Rancher because it's uh, play, but none of these do. So do we think we're going to get there on this push of stuff or do I think I need a little bit of a backup plan, I wonder? I do like that this is a little bit of a backup plan, guys. I'm going to I'm gonna take this. It can turn into more cards. I'm hopeful that, that this is enough. Just this is enough, right? And then we probably won't need to reload as significantly, but it is a little risky. Oh God, Drake fire amulet. Are you kidding me, bro? Not a taunt though. Mm, that's a taunt. 
<laughs> okay. That is indeed a taunt. So, Grave Strength. Can we make any smart play where we get some corpses first with, like, our hero power? No, that's too much... Too much mana. If I trade a 3 and a 2 in here, that's 5 to get 5 corpses. Uh, it pushes each of these. That's 5, 7, 12... 6 is 18. Am I better off going for 1 here? It's a lot of really tough decision points here because of mana expenditure. Any Frost Rune cards that deal with that effectively? 7. I also have to manage like damage output. Oh god, I don't think I did this right. But I'm out of time. I'm just out of time, so... I don't know, deal with it. <laughs> I really don't know if that's the best way to do that or not. I like that this value traded, I like that I got to discover a card, especially damage now, but... I don't know, that didn't feel like the best way to do that. I don't know what the right math was. I, I had to trade in two first to get the bigger buff on the rest. I think that was worth it. But beyond that, I don't know if anything was worth it or not. That's the question. Okay, so that's definitely playing for an explosive trap. Do we trust it? <laughs> like, do we believe the explosive trap? Uh... Did they really hit an explosive trap? Do we have a... Tr I mean, we can trade in first, right? Just in case. And still have a lethal set up, so we might as well trade in first. So we clear the board in the meantime. We almost have lethal anyway, unfortunately. We don't quite, but we almost do. Howling plus ghoul is a lot. Um, all right. They actually got the explosive. Yeah, good for them. Four damage here. My best setup just to go swarm guard and say, screw the rancher. Just get a big wide board again and try to win, right? Swarm guard first. Oh, that's interesting thought. Uh, is it worth more to get? Yeah, that's an interesting thought. Just swarm guard anyway. I wanted to I wanted to hold well I guess I guess if, if the attack doesn't connect do I ever have lethal no like there's no we already tested for freezing trap there's no like bear trap or other hero attack interruption so maybe yeah I mean these would be two ones no two twos with with death rattles is that better than one threes yeah probably right it's the same amount of total health they're a little bit harder to remove now but yeah I do think I like that better I think you're right. Just get the buffs first. They are going to clear these effectively. Dang, dude, we're going to have to whittle them down with freaking hero powers here. We can't buff. Nope, that doesn't get buffed. Nope. I need, what, we got three, four, five. I need both of these to live, actually. <sighs> yeah, I, I do like the Swarm Guards better first, yeah. There is an argument the higher whole total is better, but I don't buy that argument. I don't, I, I'm not, I'm not espousing that argument. I think that's a bad argument. <laughs> I don't think that's right. Uh, this should just be it, right? Any rogue spells that interrupt a spell cast? No. I have to always check this stuff because of freaking, uh, freaking duels, you know. Duels has so many different spells and secrets in the pool. My brain rots from all the duels. This is a good win. I think I think there were some missteps there. I think we could have done a couple turns better. I'm sure that dragon turn was wrong. I don't know what was right still, honestly. I'd have to go review it again. I didn't I didn't identify any really clean breakpoints in my mind, but um that felt like it had opportunity for improvement, and certainly I think the swarm guard before the explosive is better, yeah. I guess there were some risks if it was a different secret, but then I think it always had lethal, so I don't think there was. I think it was always best. Hey, five and five and two. This is a good run, guys. I'm actually really happy with this. This is not a bad run at all. Five wins is pretty legit. 
Uh, honestly, let's dig for a one drop pretty hard here. Uh, this is a fine two. The swarm guards felt pretty good to us, but when we look at the mulligan win rates for this deck, it really seems to prioritize one drops far and above everything else. And actually, Blight Fang was good too, I think, right? Yeah, Blight Fang's number one, but otherwise, Battlefield Necromancer and one drops are good. I think we can do better. Trog is fine. We'll take it. This deck actually, this exact list I'm playing, it, it, honestly, the best, the highest Mulligan Warrior card is Grave Strength. That's kind of wild. That really surprises me. It's only kept 3.5% of the time, but it has the highest Mulligan win rate. I, I guess that sort of tells me that the deck is so good at sticking a board in the mid game that. Um, what do we hit here? I don't think so, right? It must be that Grave Strength is just reliably connecting a lot. It is a lower sample size of keeping it, but I think there's probably enough games that it's still going to be statistically significant. That's my guess. So Frost, okay. Frost always makes me a tad nervous. Yeah, I don't love Frost, I don't think. This is fine, though. At least we got some board here. I guess we're going to kill the, uh, the Trog. We're going to take a bad trade here, though. Oh, kind of like the marrow manipulator. Am I am I wrong? We're gonna have corpses. This could be a big damage surprise for them. I part of me wants to buff this because it's stickier. I think that's probably better, right? There is some logic though that like they're gonna hit something with the weapon. Do I just buff the thing that they're hitting with the weapon to deal more immediate damage? Because this might get removed by a spell. So if it gets removed by a spell, technically I might be better off buffing the two one. If it doesn't get removed by a spell, you're probably happier the other way around. But it, it's certainly, I'd say, open for debate. Uh, probably graveyard shift since we have the grave strength in hand, right? Anti magic shell. We don't actually have a great way to go wide on board right now. We kind of need the board development, and graveyard shift is going to provide that, particularly very cheaply, which is nice. All right, not. I don't. I mean, we're getting off to a pretty slow start here. I think, pretty clunky start, I would argue. Swarm guard. Oh my. Kinda like this better. This is, well actually we can do it all, can't we? Yeah, let's do both. Let's just go super wide here. We wanna do that before they get their board freeze, I think, and particularly again with the grave strength. And the grave strength is active as well, so. We're just gonna go giga wide here and try to kill them. And then hopefully the marrow manipulator's a good backup plan if they like trade stuff in or have to start whittling through this board. Uh, we'd be worried about the six drop lady if they coin into it. That'd be really annoying. There's only one of those though. So it's not super common to see Death chiller is gonna do some work against these one health guys. I bet that's kind of scary Hopefully it hits some some one threes. Nice. <laughs> that's a good start. Okay It also might make them kind of burn the coin a little bit. Let's let's see if they kind of waste the coin Just that's a better hit for them. Okay Can I get one face hit man? That's not too bad for us, but not great. Ah, uh, okay. That was the last spell. So yeah, they're all in on removing this. Do we still go for Grave Strength here? I could use Grave Strength with the Hero Power to trade off into that, that one guy in particular. I think that's probably worth it to kill this off and get some face damage through. I don't hate Marrow Manipulator, but it's just like, am I ever going to get a better board for the Grave Strength? I'm only going to have three minions that actually connect. The, the Sarian is going to whittle through those pretty effectively, honestly. It's it's not my favorite Grave Strength, but they're also really light on resources. But Marrow Manipulator just doesn't feel right to me here. The, the Sarian clears off too much stuff. I connect for what, uh, 12 damage? Puts them at 10? 
Barrel Manipulator starts to look like lethal pretty soon. I, I think that's right. I'm just debating the, the Amalgam versus the Hero Power, but... I'm also thinking, like, does the does this ever go face, or does it kill the 2-3? Because they're only drawing one card. Put them to six and just try to trust the Marrow Manipulator, you know what I mean? Or do I kill the 2-3? I, I honestly don't know. But I think this melts my board if they top deck a spell, so I'm going to trade. Any spell here would just completely shatter my board, especially if it's like card draw spell, right? So between protecting minions from trades and maybe denying, uh, well, yeah, we know they're getting at least one spell, of course. Yeah, the, the Harbinger, yeah, that was the right play, I think. Because that just shreds me. Oh, Howling Blast shreds me too. But this means the Mirror Manipulator is going to be really nice. This is going to be a perfect answer. It's going to do a ton of damage, chip through the front half of the Thessarian, and we'll be ahead on board pretty nicely, I think. Yeah, we like this a lot. Hopefully we don't die to any crazy top decks. Hopefully we don't get Frostworm's Fury off the top, right? That'd be really annoying. I don't actually have a lethal setup here, though, so I, <laughs> I do need... I need, like, this to live, right? Although, or if they have to hit it with their weapon or something, right? Don't be Frostworm's Fury, there's no way. Oh, Frost Strike, that's still really scary. Oh boy. Amalgam have any lethal outs? Yeah, the plus damage guy, the sidekick. That could be really good. We can always hero power into that too. Ah, we're fine. Woo! Dude, that marrow manipulator clutched this game, honestly. Wow. Oh no, we're not fine. Oh no! No, we're not fine! I forgot that I could trade! Oh my god, we're not fine, we're not fine, we're not fine. <laughs> I take it back. We're not fine. We're not fine. Crap. I forgot that was trading. <sighs> this is not enough. Um, it's, it's definitely the pick, but it's just, it's not enough to win, right? It's, uh, it's very nerve-wracking. I do have this taunt, though, which might deny them a card draw, which could be really important, but I'm a little bit worried about being dead here, to be honest. Oh, okay. They must not have hit it, I guess. Or maybe wanted to draw off that. I'm not sure. Woo! Scary game, dude. Scar scary game, actually. Scary game. Six wins, though. Man, this is a good result, dude. This is, uh, this is nice. This is really, really good for me. Hey, J Prince's do things for the 14 months. J Prince's, J Prince SC. I don't, I don't know how to say that. Uh, Squid Jim, thanks, man. Appreciate you watching. How many wins do you need to make a heroic entry worth it? I, I think it's around six or seven uh to get like the equivalent amount of dust and gold as if you spent it on packs which is is i think the metric most people are aiming for um man it's all death knights by the way guys it's so many death knights hey squid jim thanks for the prime sub dude that's really nice we may play some marvel snap later if you want to hang out no worries if you if you're not a hearthstone guy though i get it it's a very different game they both have cards but that's about where the similarities end um, Bright Cool is, it's really not that good, honestly. Plague Strike's a really good, strong card. It's got a decent mulligan win rate in the deck, but there are certain matchups where I don't think it's going to be worth it. I'm going to go for the, I'm going to go for the Plague Strike. Honestly, again, the data, it says Grave Strength's pretty good, but I, I don't totally trust it. I think we really need some early game minions here to feel good about this, and this hand is hot, utter garbage. This is just hot other garbage. I like Snap and Hearthstone for different uh, moods and purposes. I agree with that. I think that's uh, that's pretty insightful. I like Hearthstone for its long games and like it has a different sort of strategic feel and pace and rhythm. Snap is a little more quick and snappy. Do we coin an Amalgam to get a Varicool going? I think the issue with that play is that we don't really have a good turn three follow up but I hate how far behind we are. I kind of just hope the opponent plays something into a Plague Strike. That'd make me feel a lot better about this. This is one of the first games we've kind of missed our turn one, I feel like. 
boy, we are just absolutely garbage. We are whiffing so hard. How is this the hand that we have? Eight games into a heroic brawl. <laughs> I'm like, come on, dude. This is the worst hand. So we may have to play this a little more like, um, I would say like kind of an old, uh, this may sound like a weird comparison, but uh, kind of like an old school token druid as opposed to more modern token druids. And by that, I mean like building a, a sticky threatening board on turn seven and then grave strengthening it as opposed to like getting an early swarm board that curves out, you know? Kind of saving up for a really sticky mid game as opposed to that early aggression. Blood Decay though is gonna make that really hard because of all the removal they have. We may just be too far behind this game. It may be too late. Um, I don't think I need Swarm Guard to activate the, the Fool quite yet, so let's go for a School Teacher. Swarm Guard into Grave Strength is not really going to work yet either, because if enough die to activate the Grave Strength, then this, this Swarm Guard's bad, right? Frost Rune card. Does any of those win me the game? Any Frost Rune cards that somehow steal a game? I think I still need the value off this right now. I don't think playing for hard tempo beats blood decay, right? Just doesn't feel like it to me. I think they just have too much removal. Stick has an unfavored matchup against blood, 47%, which means it's w definitely winnable. It's it's close. It's it's about the same as that, unra that enraged warrior was, but just tough, just tough. I think we could maybe hope for a big Sylvanas, hope for a really crazy uh, grave strength of those sorts of things that might create that opportunity for us. Uh, Astalor, pretty spooky, armor gain and the threat later. We fall behind, Just a lot of potential damage output. Kinda nasty. This might be a Swarm Guard turn. It's still not ideal by any means, but it, uh, it denies the board pretty well. It goes wide enough to be interesting. Glacial Advance are just more chippy bodies. I like the Glacial Advance's burst damage, but currently, is that really gonna, like, are we gonna connect on damage? You know what I mean? Like, it's, I think I take the Sculptor. It's more in line with our typical game plan, and it can still do damage as well. My fear is that, like, yes, right now, it kind of looks like we're getting there on damage, but one removal heal card is going to change all that one blood boil one death strike suddenly it's like oh crap we're not in this at all actually we thought we were but we're super dead right we're, so so playing for reload is going to help us more on average i hope <sighs> speaking of which here we go we're right back in it um all right this is going to be marogar infectious ghoul is actually Pretty nutty against uh, Death Knight sometimes. Might be hard for them to remove. They don't always have many like silence options. Sour Fang actually thinks too risky with, with Astalor and Handle ready. We can't take that much free damage. And spending that first five mana is gonna feel nightmarish. So I think we I think we pass on that for now. Let's build another reload, take this trade because it heals anyway and dies anyway, so. Clean it up a little here. 28 to go. Sylvanas active. That could be a big steal. If they had like what? What's uh like big seven seven guy? They had you know Mograine, Sour Fang. Honestly, is decent steal. I don't mind them taking a ton of damage off this, but the problem is I have to constantly trade in on this. I think I could take it, dude. Grave Strength right now is not bad, by the way. Hero Power Grave Strength right now. Could trade into the Sour Fang with the 2-3. Or actually, did these gain 4? No, 3. Yeah, let's trade in here. And then we've got another 12. I'm only putting them into 18, though. I feel like there's going to be a better opportunity, right? I, I think it's the Sylvanas, man. I, will never I don't know. Let's make them figure it out, right? It's, it's fine. So we hold back the Trog. Yeah, I think this is enough stuff. Trog can be good with a Rancher or something later. Just having a cheap play to go in. It's a good board, man. Soul Stealer here is great, of course, but that's we got that, that's part of the the thing. We got to get through the Soul Stealers. We got to get through the Blood Boils, etc. So let's just make it happen. 
All right, let's try to go wide again. Make him have it again. Oh, unholy frenzy. Interesting. Is that actually cool? It's pretty cool with the, uh, the rhyme sculptor, kind of. Not really this turn, of course, but maybe later. Vampiric, I, I think it's, again, the most, most fitting for our game plan, so let's just do it. I don't know when to get this ghoul in, but I... I don't think it's quite yet. It might be with the Unholy Frenzy, right? You can find a good target for it somehow. <sighs> All right. Hope we don't die to a stupid Astalor soon. Astalor for heals. It's fine. Soul breaker, that's fine. Is this ever an unholy frenzy turn? A lot of extra little chip damage. Unfortunately, the infectious ghoul doesn't go very well there. What is six plus nine is 15? If I had two of these, it'd be lethal, wouldn't it? Almost. Also another plus two, actually also with hero power. Hold up, how much damage is this? That's four? Hold up, when I say six and nine is 15 and four is uh, 19 and, and two is 21? Plus maybe some chip damage? Is it worth it to go for this right now? Or do I need to save up some for later? There are some rolls where this is lethal. I'm only killing one unit off though, aren't I? Oh, there's no rolls where this is lethal, I lied. But I think it's right anyway. We gotta do the damage. The, uh, the, these, it doesn't really work because this, this trades one to one, right? So it doesn't really work like you want. I gotta save this for this instead. Oh, I'm a little worried about being dead to Astalor though. Oh, another blood boil sucks so much, dude. That's another heal 10. Yeah. Oh, Grave Strength this. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, this could have been buffed, huh? Don't expect that to matter. And it won't, of course, because the blood boil, but it could have, right? Might as well try it. Okay, so now we're kind of close to dying to Astalor soon. They're actually trading in, so they're only going to heal a little bit here. They're healing less. Man, we're going to be close to lethal again. Not really, because we don't have any damage, but... Oh, those both went there. That sucks. Vizier have any lethal outs? Famous Fool doesn't have any lethal outs, I know that, but we can still try to hit it. Why did I buff your hero power instead of one of the others? I don't know. I didn't really think about it, to be honest, but you assume everything's going to die anyway, as it did, as, as you saw. I, I just trying to go fast. It almost never matters against blood decay because you assume your board is always dying. And as you saw, Clever, it did. You? Yes, of course. Technically, it's right, but who cares? Uh, Scourge is probably the pick, but I'm a little bit tempted by Icy Touch. But I, I think we need to Scourge here so we don't die. Uh, this is discounted, right? So we can play it this turn. Would love that, uh, Warlock card. Darkon to deal damage and heal. Oh, that's pretty good, though. This is a decent board. It's not the biggest, but it's decent. One big 8-8 eight, eight taunts nice. The 4-6 is pretty good. Could have could have done better. Darkon, of course, nuts, but we'll take it. Oh, am I dead? Man, man, school teacher. Oh, that's a big manic move. They got something they really liked. They took that instantly. <laughs> what is that that they like so much? Uh, that makes me very nervous. Vampiric blood. My God, dude, that is so brutal. 
Just a chill 20 health out of nowhere, man. Asphyxiate on the 8 8, that's pretty good too. Uh, and the, what, 4 4? Okay, at least the 4 6 lives, so I have a little more life there. Is uh, Grave Strength lethal at all? 6 and 4 is 10, 14 plus 15 is 29 plus a hero power. It is lethal. If I hit Grave Strength, oh. No, it's not. I don't have mana to hero power draw and famished fool. Because this is four, five, and two. <sighs> well, that's frustrating, isn't it? It's like one or two off. So we probably just decide to tidy this up a little bit while dealing some chip damage, I guess. The four six? Oh, this does do. Oh, you're right. It does do damage. Oh, this is. Oh my god, it is lethal then. Oh my god, it can be lethal. It, it hit your. Oh my god. Is it enough? I don't think it's still enough. I actually don't think it's still enough, guys. I don't think the math is there. It's not enough. It's. Oh, it is enough. Oh my god. It's enough. It's enough. It's exactly enough. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Seven wins on this idiot that has a. I thought he just had life steal. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. Exact lethal. <laughs> oh, dude. That's crazy for seven. That's actually so crazy. What a minion to win with. The grave strength hit as well. Crazy. Oh my god. Yeah, new, new card, exactly. Yes, new card. That was a tough win, guys. They just healed 20. Oh my god. This might be my best Brawl CM ever, actually. I feel like I don't know if I've ever had one better than 7. I usually like do it one time and then I get bored and I quit. So this could honestly be one of the higher win Brawl CMs I've ever had. You grew like one inch of hair? Oh yeah, what the heck? My wife's gotta cut my hair this week. It's getting outrageously bushy on top. My wife has to tend to my bush this week. Um, <laughs> Another death knight, dude. That's all we're playing. Arms dealer on one's great. I'm, I'm a little tempted by the swarm guard, honestly. Uh... Doesn't have a great mulligan win rate though. Nah, let's look for better. Let's make sure we hit a good two and three if we can. I really don't want to be hero powering on two. Oh, double rancher. I mean, in theory, if we're not behind on board, those are okay, but I'm really worried. Oh, Renathal, this is gonna be another blood, isn't it? Shoot. I don't want to fight another blood, man. I'm just gonna farm me. I don't have it in me again, dude. I don't have it in me again, dude. Blood. I do want to play Blood next, though. That's my. I'm excited to actually. I'm more excited to play Blood than I am uh, Unholy. I just wanted to get Unholy in the can for a video. This hand, though. What happened? What? What, <laughs> what is this hand? <laughs> like, if it connects, yeah, it's gonna be insane. But if it doesn't, this is the most garbage hand in history. Man, what is the best deck for Tavern Brawl? Probably whatever the highest win rate deck is on HS Replay right now, which. Over the last three days, Diamond of Legend Evolve Shaman is currently the highest, but between Evolve Shaman, Curse Imp Warlock, Pure Paladin, and Enrage Warrior, you're talking about like a 1% difference, so. The meta honestly has a lot of really viable options right now, I'd say. We, we gotta tempo this, we can't pass another turn. It's almost always dead, which really sucks because I think we desperately need it in order to win this game, but uh, I just don't have a choice. This hand is the worst hand possible. We, I, I, we, we could technically try to like save these up for turn eight or something, but the longer we wait, the more and more likely it is that none of this actually sticks. And it actually looks like it might stick. So a little bit rewarded, man, I would, what I wouldn't, oh, never mind, it's dead. Heart strike again, are you kidding me? <sighs> I got excited and it just didn't, just didn't matter. <laughs> just suddenly heartbroken, right? Like, I thought it was gonna live and I was so excited. Oh, suddenly heartbroken, man. Oh, 
Yeah, a real roller coaster, yeah. <sighs> this this seems impossible. I still maintain that throughout this entire run, our opponents have been discovering really, really well. We got a couple lucky ones ourselves. That Scourge, that uh, something earlier we got to, the Marogar, I think it was. But on balance, I feel like our opponents have done a great job discovering. Let's see if we can do it again. I mean, yeah, this is this is the right card. It's not perfect, but it's the pick, I think. It's cheap, which is good. We like cheap. We can do these together, but it doesn't work, so... Probably won't. <laughs> this is only play. We don't play these. I need uh, what for this rancher? Really, the swarm guard for turn seven, I think, would be the the exciting answer at this stage hit rancher swarm guard on seven hope that somehow that's enough i don't know that it will be but we can hope these poison guys have honestly been very annoying i'm not gonna lie super annoying i think we hold this for later maybe even this is not a bad turn next turn because this feels like blood boil bait regardless like you kind of assume they're gonna blood boil this so why throw in a trog for free when we can hold back some resources and and maybe maybe stick a board next turn still feel like a big marogar or sylvanas is a possible out in this game Marogar dies to soul stealers so we'd have to kind of bait the soul stealers first or just pray they don't have one by the time we play it so we'll see how that goes hopefully we win before that's even a conversation though it would be the real goal this is a much weaker turn from them than i did expect i have to say we can go body bag or grave strength here if we just want to hit them really hard if we just want to hit them hey ali straza wow thanks for the raid welcome 369 fine folks what's up we are currently seven and two in the heroic brawl scene with unholy death knight i i think we're gonna go here this gives me the corpse so we we'll just hit him i again you know i don't really expect this to connect of course i would in a lot of ways like to wait for the next one but uh do we ever trade the four one in here It, it in theory is better because we expect this to not actually set up any sort of lethal and in theory uh turns a temporary resource into permanent resource removal it's 15 in any way a significant break point for us on board technically we'd have enough if they didn't clear anyway so i think i think we trade it's a little too enticing not to you kind of assume the board's getting cleared and they're healing, so let's get something out of that minion because I don't think that's a break point that matters. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah, it does die anyway, but the, the, the damage is what we're calculating, right? Just, uh, do you care about the four damage? I don't, I don't think so. Imagine if they just didn't somehow have a blood boil. Just imagine. Imagine what that would be like if they don't draw blood boil right here off the top. Just one time in our life, if they didn't have a blood boil, guys. Can you imagine? Oh, what a glorious day it would be. Frostworm's Fury! Okay, now that I did not expect, okay? That is a, that is a twist. The Frost card. Now I feel like we're playing in a Soul Stealer, right? Now it feels like Soul Stealer's gonna hit. I, I think we just Hero Power Wait. Turn eight is pretty big removal turn for them. Seems like they maybe didn't have a great answer otherwise. Hmm. Again, though, these discovers our opponents are hitting have been really clutch, I feel like. Marigor is too small at the moment, but we can try to fix them up later. I, I think we're legit going to float six mana because I just uh, there's no incentive to develop additionally here. Hand is just not built for that. 
Soul Sealer comes down. It may not. They may decide they don't even need to, right? They may say, yeah, no, screw that. We're just going to clean this up the old-fashioned way. Just Death Strike trade sort of stuff. Hey, Mrs. Kilvin. Hey, there's the shirt we were talking about earlier. <laughs> Mythical shirt that I needed. I was, I was enlightening them on the story of the shirt. Although I just got raided by Ali Straza, and her viewers will not know the story of the, story of the shirt, but that's okay. A little mystery is good for everybody. Ah! Soul Stealer, yes, nice. Um, Solanus, you are just a second late on this, uh, this here discover, aren't you? Let's uh, let's just kill this and develop some stuff. And uh, we need to bait one more Soul Stealer. The only thing I'd rather do with Sylvanas potentially is steal a Sour Fang or maybe a Mograin. That's something they have, but unlikely. This does not feel like the turn for this. I need one more like good unit in there, I think. This is fine. I'm gonna save the Trog still for the Rancher as well. I think it's premature to play it. Really want that Swarm Guard though. That's where I think this hand opens up. And now we need the Marrow Guard to be like huge. What is the story for the shirt? Uh, <laughs> it's pretty simple. I, I, uh, I did a sponsored video and I had to do a, a, a little bit of a, uh, they asked for a slight revision on part of it. So I needed the same shirt to recreate the same recording as previously, but I, I have two of that shirt, which I thought would be enough, but I've needed it three days in a row. So I wore it on Monday, Tuesday, and now Wednesday I needed it again, but both of them were dirty for Monday and Tuesday. I planned ahead, but it wasn't enough. <laughs> By God, I needed another day of shirt. Oh, vampire blood, such a pain. Yeah, we've got a lot to, to get this Marogar into a threatening position. Really need to bait the other uh, soul stealer, probably first and foremost. Is this a rancher turn? I still don't think it's right. We, we could maybe go rancher, necro, school teacher, noggling. But I really want to hit that swarm guard to maximize the value. This, this is a game we're just going to have to grind down, I think. Until they play an Astalor or Mograine or some sort of game ending damage threat, I, I think we have time, right? We have a lot of, a lot of moments here. Blood tap? Dark transformation on our hero power is kind of cool. Icy touch is damage. I was really hoping for something with a little more value here, though. I mean, the blood tap in theory is nice against certain things, but still most minions die to a big corpse explosion. Big uh, dude. I, I guess we take the dark transformation. Just use this to get a little bit better board this turn. I don't love any of this, though. This all feels a little bad to me. This this just feels like we're trending towards an inevitable defeat. We have another discover off Vizier and School Teacher. That could maybe make me like a Scourge or somehow develop into another Marogar, you know, something like that would be nice. Oh, not the Marogar. Oh god, no, 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 dude, no. Why? I have four minions in hand. That is so stupid, dude. And it's not like I could have played it early to get it out of hand, because of course it would have been garbage. I don't have enough corpses. Wow, again with this. Are you kidding me? Just the worst picks. Just the absolute worst picks, man. No reason to hit here. Let's just leave it alive. This guy looks really cool. God, if that why couldn't that hit the trog? You know, it hit the it hit the tr it hit the trog in deck. <laughs> Should have gone two for two. Ah. I mean, it's not like the Marogar was a guaranteed win condition or anything, right? It was gonna take some work. It was gonna take some luck and some patience to get the other Soul Stealer out. I don't. Are these decks running Corpse Explosion right now or not? I don't even know. That's I haven't looked. Let's see. Where you follow. Blood decay last three days. Let's go to Legend where it's being played a little more in the last day. Blood Death Knight. 
No muncher is so brutally good. Vizier could give me something nice though. How is that not active? No de undeads died, huh? It's fine. We're not gonna. The only thing that would be bad here is maybe like a scourge that I can't really play. But if I hero power first, it's it's not free in this case because it heals five. Normally I'd say it's free, but it not healing five is not free. Oh my god! Why are we getting the most garbage cards offered? I mean, another grave strength is never actually a win condition, right? We're just kind of dying right now, honestly. I don't think we have time for that. But but this is also terrible, of course. So uh, it, it's not like it's not like we're happy about any of these results. Um. I think I have to trade in on this. Unfortunately, I, I think it's the worst. It's absolutely the worst, but I think I have to. All right, I'm, I'm just pray, I'm just saving the, this, this for the swarm guard now. So I'll just play this guy. Like, let's make a little bit of a facade of a board. They're just going to blood boil it out. But I, I just think we're hopeless now. That was kind of our last couple discover outs. Remember, we were saying, hey, we can discover some big, awesome stuff. We still have two Amalgam of the Deep, so it's not totally gone, but, uh, you know, those are more limited because there's a lot of bad undeads, but spells can turn into more stuff, can chain into more threats from typically. So, yeah, Corpse Explosion is in uh, some decks, but not all. Not all, but many i would say even most i do think we have two corpse explosions to deal with at some point morseless winter is a good start for them again like how are they getting great discovers every time vampiric blood glacial advance remorseless winter and frostworms fury are their discover cards oh and the perfectly timed heart strike on like turn two or whatever it was and i got like idiot card number one idiot card number two idiot card number three and believe it or not idiot card number four <laughs> we did a clean sweep we got the full assortment of idiot cards and now i can't find an arubian swarm guard to save my freaking life a blightfang would be pretty cool here too i might be out of time because we're just dying I, I think we might have to just go for this now which means we'll top deck the swarm guard next turn <sighs> grave strength seems pointless it all seems pointless <laughs> i think our run is rapidly approaching its end i'm just gonna play these and pray to god that the opponent has nothing of merit which is of course impossible they will obviously have something of merit do we ever just grave strength like idiots i I don't think so. We probably should have traded in both of these 1-1s one and kept that 2-2 two -two in, in hindsight, obviously, but that's hindsight. That's too, that's too, that's too advanced for me. <laughs> I'm not, I, I, none of it matters. We're very dead. Corpse explosion here wipes, soul stealer wipes. If we had the barrel gar, I would feel a lot more confident. As soon as that second soul stealer was gone, I think we have a real chance, but We'll top deck Swarm Guard here. I'll be really sad. This looks like Blood Boil, maybe? I don't know what it is. Pyrrhic Blood first, sure. 50, 49 is a long way to go. We'll probably get Blight Fang now that they've traded in their board. Just think about the worst case draw. That's the one we're going to get. Maybe it's just Skeletal Sidekick, really. <laughs> maybe I'm overthinking it. Wow, they actually just didn't... What? I really don't know. I really don't know. There's no... 
Is Flame Ward in standard? Flame Ward's not in standard, right? Flame Ward shows Flame Ward, but it's not in standard, right? My brain really gets lost on secrets because of duels. I play so much duels where there's a totally different pool of stuff. Why is HS Replay showing Flame Ward? All right, I don't know, whatever. We're never gonna get this to be any better, right? So. Do we trade in a little is what I wanna know. Hey, cool, they got even more life. What do you know, man? I guess we trade this one in. It's not like we're getting there on 40, so. Just whatever. I, I literally, what, what top deck could possibly put me in the game right now? I think it would have to be literally Amalgam of the Deep into Marogar, and then another Amalgam of the Deep into Marogar. I think that's it. That's our only... Or somehow all of these cards are just wisps. <laughs> if, every, if somehow every card in their deck in their hand is a wisp, I think we could do it. I think we could win. That's my two outs. The the, <laughs> the wisp line and the uh, double Marogars. Why does it say Heroic Brawl? This is duels. This is not duels. This is Heroic Brawl. <laughs> I'm saying duels rots my brain and I can't remember which secrets are in duels versus uh, standard. That's why I was asking. Probably dead. That's gonna be Astalor for lethal. Nope, Icy Touch Noggling. Again, are you, uh, dude. <sighs> oh my, are you kidding? This is the greediest deck. No wonder they didn't have removal sometimes. Zola Bran. I wanna play this though. This, this is what we're literally gonna play next. <laughs> so I'm into it. I'm into it, just uh frustrated in this game yeah seven wins is honestly way better than i was hoping for really happy with a seven win result for a deck i've never played and i've played about 10 games of standard in the last month i'm really over the moon frankly that's way better than i hoped all right gold dust packs gold dust packs packs dust pack pack gold dust pack pack gold gold yeah, eight packs, 300 gold and 300 dust. So that eight packs is, um, what, eight, 800 gold already. And then I also get a bonus 300 gold and a bonus 300 dust. That's pretty good. That's really not too bad. And we got our portrait, which was the main goal, but let's open these packs. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Honestly, I think this is one of my better Brawl CMs ever, frankly. I don't know what my record is, but I don't think I've ever gone for over 10. I don't think I've ever had double digits, I know. Ooh, Anachronos bonus. Good packs. Dang, dude, it's already been two hours. Shoot, I need to play some Marvel Snap soon. That took way longer than I realized. I, dude, I don't know if I have time for a Blood Death Knight run tonight, guys. I might need to play something really fast if I want to do another run. I did not realize that we were taking so long. I, I was going to plan for the stream for about five. Oh, man, am I missing all this XP? I got to think about this. I gotta think. Uh, is there a good fast deck that's interesting? Maybe like a uh, undead priest or something? Not good. I, I wouldn't say it's good. Let's let's back up a little bit. Maybe not good, but but fast anyway. Could perhaps do undead priest. Yeah, I'm not as interested in aggro mage. Let, let me do a quick undead priest. I would normally play Blood Death Knight, like I said, but I, I, I know if I play Blood Death Knight, it's going to be literally a three-hour run. And if I do that, 
forget it. We're not. I'm not gonna have time. No way. No way. No how. So let's do. Uh, let's do undead priest. Hyper aggro -y undead priest, I think, is the plan here. Dude, this deck is really fast. Okay. I hate playing decks like this, is the only thing. Am I really going to spend a thousand rune stones on a deck like this? I just hate playing decks like this. Should I maybe just save another Heroic Brawl scene for tomorrow and play Marvel Snap now? Your Hearthstone or Snap videos perform better. Snap. Pretty decisively now. It, it may change once new stuff hits Hearthstone, I don't know, but for now Snap is doing way better. A lot of people are saying Snap Hearthstone tomorrow. I think I think that's actually probably right. I have a good Hearthstone video. That was a great great video. We should do we should do this tomorrow. It is gonna get harder tomorrow though. But I feel like I'm gonna be just under pressure to go really fast. Um Yeah, okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Tomorrow we'll do another Brawl CM run and we'll play some snap now. <laughs> 